Hello and welcome to Nee Sports. Full credit to England for the way they played in the fifth and final test match at Edgbaston. And they've managed to draw the series. And this means that India are still searching for that test series win in England. Something they haven't done there since 2007. And since then, there were quite a few forgettable tours for them. And this was really one opportunity that they missed and something that they would rue. And... For the first three days of the game, uh, you saw that India were well ahead and it looked like it would be an Indian victory. And it was creditable considering the fact that England were coming in after a successful test series against New Zealand. And India only had that one practice game. And coming into the test series, I think they played this test match rather. They played really well in that uh, in the during the first three days in particular to take uh, a hold of the game. But then this England team seems to have really adopted that uh, fearless strategy from their new coach, Brendan McCullum. And it's called baseball for the, for quite a while. And you could see that on display during their run chase because Joe Root and Johnny Bairstow never looked bogged down. Now compare this run chase to their run chase at the Oval last year. Now that uh, back then, the target was similar. They had gotten off to a good opening start, but... Um, but then they just kept losing wickets. Now, the difference between these two was that this time England were a lot more attacking and that put India on, onto the back foot. Back at the Oval, India didn't seem to be on the back foot, although the openers were going strong. This time, someone like an Alex Lees came, uh, came up front and he too took the attack to the opposition. Zach Crawley also did the same thing. And although there was a bit of a wobble with those three wickets, you could sense that England with Bairstow and Root, there was always that danger lurking for India that these two would just go on and um, attack the Indian bowling. And that's exactly what they did. They just played good cricket and the Indian bowlers had absolutely no answers. There are a few things that India would want to think about, particularly the fact that this is the third consecutive test match away from home that India have not managed to defend a total in the fourth innings. In South Africa, again, that was a series of missed opportunities. All these three test matches, India have lost by seven wickets, which means that the opposition batted quite well. And yes, you could say that England were exceptional during their run chase. For the first three days, India were in command of the game. Now, that was creditable considering the fact that England were coming off a very successful home series against New Zealand and India only had that solitary practice match heading into this game. Plus, they had no Rohit Sharma, no KL Rahul, yet they managed to put up that kind of a fight. And I think this was a quality test match, a test match that irrespective of the result, the fans will remember because there was fight on both sides. There was a lot of good cricket on display. And in the end, you've got to say that England just outsmarted India with their attacking strategy in the fourth innings. And this is their highest successful run chase in test cricket. So this England team currently looks a lot better than what they were last year. The mindset seems to have changed. And with Ben Stokes coming in as captain, I think he's combined really well with Brendan McCullum. India will go back to the drawing board as far as test cricket is concerned, work on a few strategies. But at the moment, I think their focus is going to be on T20 cricket. Considering what happened uh, in the UAE last year, India would do well to come up with a better strategy. They are playing a lot of T20 cricket. So the focus will be on limited overs cricket for a bit. But Rahul Dravid would know that in test cricket, there are a few areas that India need to work upon. They're a good team and they want to maintain... Uh, that consistency and become an even better team, something that they achieved under Virat Kohli's leadership. So there's a lot more to look forward to this year, particularly in limited overs cricket. Let's see how the Indian team goes. And meanwhile, while you're here, uh, please do subscribe to Nice Sports, press the bell icon for all the updates and follow us across all the social media platforms. Mm -hmm.